Uh, good evening. We interrupt ITV's late night schedule to cover a developing story, a major incident in central London. Witnesses say a van mounted the pavement on London Bridge, hitting several pedestrians just after 10 o'clock this evening. There are also reports of a stabbing attack. Uh, well, we can show you pictures from just a, a few moments ago. Armed police have closed the bridge in both directions. Uh, London Bridge Station is also closed. People have described seeing victims being treated on the roadside, some with knife wounds, it's reported. There's no official confirmation yet of how many people have been injured. Uh, police say they are also responding to another incident at Borough Market. That's less than a mile away from London Bridge. Armed officers are at the scene there. And Scotland Yard say they are also dealing with an incident in Vauxhall. Uh, well, let's take you now to our reporter, Angus Walker, who is at London Bridge, on the north side of London Bridge. Um, I believe he has uh, some witnesses with him. Angus, what's the latest there? What can you tell us? Well, let me bring you right up to date because what we can see behind us now, and I'm close to Borough Market and London Bridge, are people being escorted away from the area, their hands on their heads being escorted by armed police through the cordon. Behind me you can see police cars, ambulances have been arriving, fire engines have been arriving. This is clearly an ongoing incident. Police cars, marked and unmarked, have been speeding through the streets on the scene, around the scene. With me now, I'm joined by two people who saw what happened in this area. Uh, first of all, Luke Smith. Luke, what did you see? I was uh, standing down there on the bollard, and that's when uh, I see the armed police at the corner of the restaurant. And um, about 10 seconds afterwards, they ran in, and that's when I heard the three gunshots. And the police told me to come back here. I've got all the footage on my phone. And that's the most I saw, to be honest. And Jack Stagg, what did you see? I don't see nothing, but I just heard the gunshots. That's when I started to run down this way in panicking. Of course, I was scared, but hopefully it would never happen again. What was going through your mind, Luke? Just panic, really. You know, it's scary to see this happening. Obviously, you're coming home on a night out. You don't want to be walking into this. You want to be going home safe and everything's going to be all right. What did you think was happening? Uh, well, I got, I got told uh, by a friend's mum on the phone that uh, there was an attack. Uh, someone was run over a car. Um, I think it was terrorists or something. Thank you very much, both of you. Uh, yes, British Transport Police are saying there have been um, multiple casualties. Uh, they, they say there have been multiple casualties. Uh, and I'll show you now more people being escorted. Let's turn the camera right round and see the activity here that's just happening. Police escorting people away. From time to time, the police will shout and ask people to run away, to move out of the area quickly. From time to time, police vehicles will speed up and down these streets. We've seen motorbikes, vans full of police, unmarked cars, the incident appeared to have lulled to a certain extent, and now they're moving us. The police are now moving us. Stay with us. OK. We are being moved by the police. Yep. We are being moved by the police. And as I made my way here, I was walking along the embankment towards London Bridge when an armed officer pointed his gun at me and said, stop where you are, and then asked us to run to another group of people who were just around the corner. We were then escorted as a group by armed officers who clearly felt the need to protect us and we were escorted to where we are now. We are now being moved again by the police. This is a fast moving incident. It's changing by the minute and clearly the police are very worried about what's happening and have received new information as we speak, as we've been on air. More vehicles arriving. These are armed units. You can tell by the yellow dot on the back of the vehicles that they are armed officers. I've also seen a squad of specialist firearm, firearms officers move onto the bridge about half an hour ago. We could also see a casualty being treated. 
We could also see a casualty being treated on the street behind us about 20 minutes ago. And casualties being taken away by ambulance. As you can see, the police moving us urgently away. Still a number of members of public here, as well as media, but we're okay. being moved away to this okay. position. Angus, Angus, obviously, um, it, it seems, uh, dramatic scenes uh, that are still un unfolding. You're being moved along, other members of the public. Um, there's obviously a, a very, very big police operation that is, is happening at uh, the moment. Um, let us um, just uh, talk now to our security editor who, who joins us now in the studio, Rohit Kachu. Rohit, um, a, a major, major incident unfolding in the capital this evening. Multiple major incidents yeah. unfolding in the capital. And we saw from Angus's report there the drama that is still unfolding um, at the scene, this incident now, uh, more than an hour uh, old. Um, and what's significant here is that in the last few minutes, uh, the Metropolitan Police have issued this run hide, mm. tell advice. This is the first time that I recall this advice mm. being issued while an incident has been uh, unfolding. It is significant because it appears to indicate that the incident is not uh, uh, yet contained. We see here, uh, Lucrezia, the uh, uh, Twitter feed of the Metropolitan Police. Scotland Yard has been telling us to look right here for their very latest advice. It shows us in the last few minutes the unfolding events. Uh, tw 32 minutes ago, information available at this stage from 22.08pm, uh, officers responded to reports of a vehicle in collision with pedestrians uh, on London Bridge. Then, moments later, we saw the uh, second update. Officers have responded to reports of stabbings in Borough Market. A second uh, incident there. Mm -hmm. Armed officers responding uh, and shots have been fired. Then... Third of all, officers now responding to an incident in the Vauxhall area. I should tell you, Lucrezia, that that incident uh, was close to the MI6 headquarters. Yeah. But I'm being told by uh, senior security sources that uh, MI6 uh, is not uh, involved. Their building is not involved in that third reported incident there. Mm, we can see.